It's day three in Campbell's Outdoor Challenge, and it's time to get out in the field to chase some Indiana wild turkeys. And hopefully the water isn't underwater. Where, where, hopefully the water isn't underwater? Hopefully the water isn't underwater, because that would be tough. Well, all the little prayers I said last night before going to bed about it drying up this morning, uh, God decided that he had a different plan, and since he's in control, I'm, I'm fine with that, but we are dealing with rainfall again this morning, and we're just trying to plan to, to get out in the field and get set up without getting our equipment wet. I'd rather just uh, kind of sit back and not take a chance on losing our camera gear and then losing the whole next two or three days that we've got left to, uh, to make it happen. So um, hopefully uh, it'll let up and we can get out there and chase some turkeys. I'm grabbing the last of my gear out of the trailer here. We're fixing to head out. It's pouring down rain and we're supposed to have bad weather all day. So all we can do is really just get in the ground blind and ride this thing out. I'm gonna throw out a couple of decoys. I got a couple of Avionex hens and then I got a, uh, a Jake that I'm gonna put on a Lifeline 360. So when I pull the rope, he'll spin around. And I think these gobblers right here are gonna like that. With only hens in the ring keeping Team Camo Life company, let's check in on the action with Team Raven 6. Well, you know, since it was pouring rain out, we elected to stay in the car for a little while just to ensure that we didn't get our cameras wet. But uh, soon enough, it let up, and we got set up in the field that Bob told us about the day before. And sure enough, the gobblers are already out there. That's a good sign. It's raining, and the gobblers are out. With both teams striking out on turkeys at the moment, the next production element for day three is animal cut shots. We're looking around for an animal to, you know, get some video of, and we notice that there's huge grass carp in this field that's flooded. We're supposed to target a non-game species and get some really creative shots on it. So we picked grass carp. We've got all these grass carp in here, and I went and got the GoPro and the boom pole We've got some tight shots of the big camera, but now I'm going to take this boom pole and get in there really tight and get underwater. That sounds pretty creative, don't it? I bet no one else turns in underwater footage today. You know, the production element for animal cut shots is pretty simple to get when you're in the field just because you spend so much time out there. You know, we got good shots of a buzzard, uh, chipmunks. Uh, we had a lot of fun and we found a snake up in the woods and uh, actually tried to run over Lane when he was trying to run away. And uh, I think one of the best shots that we got though was of a box turtle we found in the rain. Just the lighting was perfect. The colors were beautiful. You could actually see the rain hitting his head and you could see him breathing. Uh, for the area and for what we were doing that day, it was nasty out. Uh, to me, this was a really strong production element for animal cut shots. Chipmunks, carp, snakes, buzzards, and turtles. Enough of this petting zoo malarkey. <laughs> it's time to baste a butterball. Know what I'm saying? Now when we return, it's time to get serious. Both teams go special ops to try and put a toe tag on a gobbler. And Team Raven 6 is putting on scuba gear when the camo life returns. <laughs> 